how long? That's a good question. Normally, it will be 1.5 inches. 1.5 inch. Now, another important question would be not only how long, but the gauge of the needle. And in order to, I normally never, never, never utilize 22 gauges when I'm performing interventional procedures because I want, most of my patients will have to come back one week later and then two weeks later and then maybe three weeks later. So I wanna cause as minimal pain as possible. And so if I'm, a, if I'm not utilizing viscous supplementation, if I'm not, I'll use a 27 gauge needle. So it'll be a 27 gauge needle, one and a half inches. Do I use ethylene chloride to freeze the area? And what do you believe? No, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because when you're freezing with ethylene chloride, that causes discomfort and pain because you're freezing the tissue. So my technique is, again, so this is my technique. I'm gonna show you, these are some pearls that I'm going to be showing to you. And so we're buddies, that's why she <laughs> volunteered, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna utilize my fingers and my finger, my thumb is gonna pretty much sit at the medial border of the humeral head. My other finger is gonna sit at the, at the coracoid process. And I'm gonna be applying pressure. And up and down pressure, just pressure. Now I'm trying to distract her mind. So not only pressure, but I'm pressure and releasing, pressure and releasing, pressure and releasing just like this. I now have my needle, which I try to avoid till I'm coming over here. So she won't be seeing like, you know, seeing the needle like this. What's your name, sweetheart? Rebecca. Okay, so let me, let's do that again. What's your name, sweetheart? Boop. Yeah. Before she's able to say Rebecca, my needle is in. Okay? How many kids do you have? Not a lot. Boom. <laughs> While she's telling me how many kids she has, my needle is already in. And most of the times what we're gonna say, see is that the patient will tell me, it didn't hurt a bit. Now let me tell you my technique for trigger points. So the mastoid process is sternocleidomastoid. From the mastoid process to the clavicle, from the clavicle to the sternum, I'm going to go ahead and inject, and what I'm going to do here is, I'm gonna tell her, okay, sweetheart, I'm gonna tell you, this is what I do. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, if you have any questions, you ask me. Again, utilizing pressure, and I'm gonna say, on the count of three, I'm gonna give you the shot. One, and the needle is in. So, now remember, there's gonna be several, for trigger points, there are gonna be several areas that you may need to inject. Like in the sternocleidomastoid, it could be three or more injections to the sternocleidomastoid. So I come further down. And I'm gonna say, well, we're gonna do the same thing, sweetheart, in the count of three. And now she's expecting me on the count of one to do it. So I say one, two, and the needle is in.